This is the Johnny's Pizza House Friday Night Blitz brought to you by Car Giant Auto Group. Welcome back to the Friday Night Blitz, everyone. It was an emotional night at Houghton High School as Christian Smith was honored at the 59-yard line at midfield. The coaching staff wearing these shirts as the Bucks took on BTW. Dexter Smith starts the scoring tonight. He finds the end zone to make it 6 0. On the ensuing possession, Christian Obergon nearly comes up with the interception, but it does force the punt. Houghton looking to make it a two score ball game. Colin Raines finds his man on fourth down, but the Lion defense holds. That forces a turnover on downs. And then after that turnover, DJ Riser picking up his teammate. We saw the dropped interception. Riser off the deflection here, makes the pick. And give credit to the Houghton Buccaneers. You knew it was not easy taking the field tonight. Took the field with some heavy hearts, but they dominate for their fallen teammate. 40 to nothing. They're back in the win column. All right, so it's now time to get to our Bargain Barn Autos game of the week, Wesley. And it finally, for the first time this season, lived up to the damn game of the week. So we head to Webster Parish, North Webster. Taken on Minden. The Knights looking to move to 3 0. Minden has ended their quest for 3 0 twice in the last six seasons. But it looked like an upset early as Cooper Sanders, this is Jatarian Robinson actually, gets this pass from Colin McKenzie into the end zone and it's 7 0. Then after an onside kick recovery, Sanders, this is Cooper Sanders, he is in. That makes it 13 to zip North Webster. Looks like Minden comes out a bit flat, but Andrew Cooper picks him up. Andrew Cooper, the quarterback, first year as a starter. He is in for six. That makes it. He's excited. He is excited. You can't blame him. 13 to seven, our score. And then Zedekiah Harris makes it 14 unanswered for the tie. The tide are rolling. But North Webster looking to answer an extremely fun ball game. This pass from McKenzie intercepted by. Jacoby Jackson and Minden never trailed again. Cooper to Jalen Williams, 21 unanswered. The Knights weren't going away. You see the final there. It was 34 to 27. North Webster put up a fight, but it wasn't enough tonight. They fall to Minden. The Crimson Tide roll. Our Sam Rothman was there, and she's got more. The only way to describe this battle of Webster Parish is, well, a battle. While North Webster jumped out to an early two touchdown lead, Minden came clawing back and eventually both teams were tied at 21 at halftime. But the second half was a little bit of a different story. The Crimson Tide scored a couple of touchdowns to eventually put this one away. And head coach Spencer Hurd says he's proud of his team's fight. It wasn't perfect. We had our share of mistakes. But the thing was is they just, you know, kept the nose to the grindstone. Battled through the adversity, kept fighting. In those times, you can't panic. That's what we talk to them about that kind of stuff. You know, when early in the ball game, you can't panic like that. It's a long ball game. You just kind of let things play out, keep fighting, keep running our stuff, let it work. Very proud of the offensive performance. I thought it's, it's our best performance overall. I believe in Andrew Cooper. He's our guy. And, uh, you know, I told him on the sideline, I said, uh, this is what I've been looking for. This is the guy I've been looking for right here. So hope this, the same guy keeps showing up. Throughout the year, you're going to run into this, and it just prepares you for later on, you know, the, the playoffs and that kind of thing. You're going to be in big games like this. And we had, you know, we had a little adversity in there, and, you know, it kind of lost it for a little while, and then, but then came back and fought to the end and fought for four quarters, and that's the most important thing that you can do. They gave us a lot of different things offensively that we haven't seen, uh, you know, this year from them, and it really uh, put us in a spin on defense. But, you know, we we played well. We, we played well on special teams, and we, we, you know, we got a couple of onside kicks and made some plays there. And I, I just think that this one can build it and help us throughout the, out the season, no doubt about that. Now going back a little bit to 2015 and 2019, North Webster had a chance both years to start the season 3-0. and But both times, Minden put an end to the streak in week three. And 2021 is no different. Reporting in Minden, I'm Sam Rothman. Right, so a great game over in Menden. I mean, look, two two and one teams. They show that they're both basically on the same playing field here. Yep. I'm excited to see where both of them go for the rest of the season, especially North Webster. North Webster, uh, if you were with us on KMSS or even the start of this show, I said this is probably the best night team they've had since a guy named Devin White was playing there. All right, you can rewind the tape. I said the exact same thing, but I really like that North Webster team. Excited to see what they've got. If they remain healthy, I think they could really make some noise in that district. It's going to be fun to see what both of those teams do 
It's also going to be fun to see what we do. We still got plenty of highlights. Plenty Let's keep of on them. going. West Sabine taking on unbeaten Beckfield. Beckfield's quarterback Ryan Harris on the keeper here. Runs it in for the touchdown. Little second quarter touchdown for you, John. Nothing wrong with that. Beckfield gets the ball back. This time Harris going to show off his arm. Hey, he's got two of them, just like me or you. His right one's just better than mine. Long touchdown pass there. I mean, look, it's all Beckville here, but I love Beckville. Beckville, 48 points tonight. 48-21 over West Sabine. Some scores now. Calvary looking to remain unbeaten. They did. They looked, they saw, they are. Calvary, 62 to nothing over Arcadia and Southwood falling to Lake Charles College Prep, 37 the to nothing. The Trailblazer. I think they're the only Trailblazer in, in Louisiana. State? Yeah. All right. That's fair. So, Green Oaks. They are looking for their first win. They took on Wasman tonight. That is some yellow Wasman, jerseys. Wasman, uh, they just decided to, to hurt my eyes with, with those uniforms. What do, you, what do you think the kids think of those? They, they've got to love them. I the don't know. I think you've got to like them. I mean, we, we went to Southeastern. We're kind of used to an all-gold look. Well, look, if that's the case, we love Green Oaks, Green yeah. Gold. All right, but Wasman, they, uh, they dismantled the Giants tonight. Let's just be frank. We're going to see a touchdown here right hey, before the half. You're not Frank, you're John. That's true. Green Oaks defense looking better, though. They allowed 40 points in their first two games. 28 tonight. That offense still struggling to get rolling. 28 0. The, the Giants fall on the road to Wasman. Some scores now. Homer all over. Ringgold. Homer's looking really strong so far this year. I can't wait for that Homer Calvary game. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. 69 nothing. And then the St. Mary's Tigers were really close with Holy Savior Menard. They pull away in the fourth quarter. Two touchdowns, 31 to 17 are final. Let's get this right, Wesley. Magnolia taking on El Dorado. El Dorado. I, I just wanted to do that. Yeah. All right, That's so fair. this is the tail end of this game here. A There's touchdown a, at the gun! A late touchdown, also a late flag, right? High scoring affair, 50 to 30. The clock struck. Happy midnight. we got to that game. El Dorado, 50 to 30 over Magnolia. Yeah, Magnolia's still looking for their first win. All righty, some more scores now. We're waving to the camera. Who doesn't like scores? Nacken is central. Look at them. 3 and 0 oh for the Chiefs. 3 and 0 oh for they're, the Chiefs. They're jo they're, I'm becoming a fan. 34. I don't think we're allowed to be fans. 34 yeah, to 6. Bozier over Logansport, like you said. Diamante Johnson doing some special, special things, things over there. I love the Bozier Bearcats. They throw the ball. They call themselves the Air Cats. All right. Okay. I like it a lot. Diamante Johnson is, like we said, they lost by one point to Opelousas yeah. last week. They're one point away from being 3 0. On the other end of that, Logansport falling to 0 3 on the season. Uh, you know, they, they, they play, they're playing up in their pre district schedule. I'm excited to see what they do in district. And, play. And, and really quick before we get to the next game, Bozier and North Webster, they're in the same district. That's going to be a lot of fun in a few, in a few weeks, whenever that, whenever that happens. All right, some more highlights now. This is Airline and Ruston. Airline, they've fallen to 0 2, taking on the Bearcats tonight. A lot of Bearcats in tonight's show. It's raining, the ball is wet, and that leads to fumbles. Ruston, they say they have it. Yeah, they do! And then they're going to score here on the goal line. Whenever you've got a number 93 in motion, it doesn't bode well for you if you're on the defense. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Get out of his way. Yeah, that's a big hole. 50 to zip. It's all Ruston tonight. More scores. Arkansas, we go for the scoring of the graphic. <laughs> Jesseville, 38, 48 to 38. And then Benton, the Tigers are 3 0. Maybe we see them at number one in the power rankings next week. Not that they matter yet. They were number two coming into this week. They may be number one. They get a 41 to 12 win tonight over Richwood. I believe it was their homecoming, too. You always want to win on homecoming. It is a good feel. Like you can't, you can't go into the dance having was, lost the day. What was before. your record as a student at homecoming? We were 4 0. I think we went 1 0. We were 4 0. We, we, we did it the right way. You scheduled the team you're supposed to beat. Well, the problem we is. We did it. We took care so of business. We were in our infancy. We were like two or three years old. Yeah. We were the homecoming team. You were the homecoming team. team. 1 and 3. But I never forgot that number 1. You sure did. You talked about it every day. I'm sick of hearing about it. Coming up, we've got more scores and highlights as the Johnny's Pizza Friday Night Blitz, presented by Car Giant, continues.